sometimes I think about the song, sometimes I feel like somebody's watching me, and it ain't no fantasy. For those of you who don't know, today in Washington, D.C., more than 50,000 people are gathered at a rally called Stop Watching Us. They're marching throughout the Capitol. Unfortunately, I don't believe this trip they'll be going to the NSA, although some people in Boston have previously confronted the people at the Fusion Center where the data are collected from the cameras, from your email, from your cell phone, to feed into the building with balls. If you've ever seen the NSA, a couple of giant balls, which it really takes to be spying on the entire universe. One of the things I think has been interesting in the last week is that once again the European leaders were shocked, shocked to learn that uh, the transparent President Obama, the most transparent administration in history, except for, gee, which wars we have, why we kill people with drones, what our assassination policy is, who we're spying on, outside of that stuff, really transparent. They were very upset again to find out that, and, and all week long, U.S. ambassadors were being called to capital Spain, France, Germany, to explain why are you spying on our personal communications and meanwhile, the citizens of those countries are way ahead of the leaders. They marched when Obama went to Germany a few months ago. The streets were filled with people protesting with signs saying, Yes, we scan! If you don't know, they're scanning, among other things, even your snail mail. A picture is taken of every letter you get, of everything you get in the mail. As you all know, your emails, your searches, your phone calls, your texts, all of them are illegally being surveyed by the NSA, by the Obama administration, without warrant, which is required under law. The Fourth Amendment under guarantees the all, exactly, the Bill of Rights guarantees all of us privacy. We have an upside down situation in the United States right now where anti-war activists, environmentalists, all kinds of people who have grievances they want to redress through freedom of assembly and speech, also guaranteed rights, have been classified as extremists or domestic terrorists by the transparent Obama administration. Many people are familiar with the very, very violent repression of the Occupy movement, but in addition to that, and in where protesters in Minnesota, at NATO, across the country, immigration rights activists have been jailed simply for speaking their minds. Is that a democracy or does that sound like fascism to you? Yeah. You may remember in East Germany there was something called the Stasi, you know, of course the Gestapo, where they would try to monitor citizens' phone calls. They weren't digital at that point, so it was a little different technology. At best, the secret police could keep tabs on only maybe a third of the German population. What we have right now is a White House that is keeping tabs on the phone calls, texts, uh, web searches, uh, phone calls of everyone in this country, of everyone in every country around the world, and I think that we should join with the, the citizens who have been far more upset than the leaders who are having little tips this week in saying, this is a violation of human rights. You get up and talk about human rights while you quash them at home and support repressive dictatorships and while, you, while our, the military apparatus, USA, number one at war, number one at spying. We run around, the, the government, US government, runs around the world destabilizing governments. Look at Iraq, look at Afghanistan, look at Honduras. The so-called pivot to China is really, the US is mad that China has some good trade relationships in Africa, so the US has sent troops to 35 countries in Africa. That's the new, that's the new normal. When you hear about the little, uh, the shootings in a mall in Africa, that is blowback. That is because U.S. troops have been in there and the people said that. They said it's because you people with the U.S., with complicity of the Americans, have been slaughtering people in our country, so we're coming here to get back at you. We have to say, not, not, not. We object to surveillance. We object to wars, whether they're overt or covert, as many of the ones in Africa are, or by coup, they actually do continue, or whether it's via sanctions, like the sanctions that are hurting the Iranian people. We say no. We say, this government does not speak for me. When it sends a drone here on the Boston Commons to take pictures, the facial recognition snaps, so that we can all end up at the building with balls, the NSA, so they know who we are, we say no, There's, we are guaranteed a right to privacy. We're also guaranteed a right to speak out. So why the fuck are you looking at us? 
We're supposed to be able to know what you're doing, and you're saying, oh, it's a state secret. It's classified. Hey, do you live in a glass house? We all live in glass houses. They know who our friends are. They know who we talk to. They know who we email with. But then when it comes to something like, how do you justify your, your executive assassination program? How do, you, how do you justify spying on people? How do you justify using drones in countries we're not at war with? Oops, sorry, I can't tell you. It's a state secret, but trust us. Yeah. And then last, this week, the, the press secretary for the president and all the politicians and pundits when uh, the chancellor of Germany was one of the European leaders very upset to find out that she too had been spied on as closely as we are. The excuse was, everybody does it. All countries do this. Now guess what? If you're a little kid and you say to your mom after you did something really bad, really inexcusably, go, everybody does it. How does that work out? Mom does not accept that logic. Mom says, that's bullshit. Guess what? Everyone doesn't do it. The U.S. is doing it. John talks a lot about how the U.S. is trying to control the entire universe through the, the corporations. And this is not to keep us safe from the terrorists. They're doing it to find out ahead of a negotiation how they're going to do on the trade deal. They, they found out that uh, Samantha Powers was spying on the French dignitaries, leaders, to find out ahead of time where they were going to come down in terms of sanctions on Iran. They are not terrorists. They should not be spied on. We're not terrorists. We should not be spied on. And I am sick and tired of the transparent Obama administration classifying people who engage in civil disobedience, civil dissent, or simply speaking out as terrorists, and they are. All of us here have been classified as domestic terrorists. We're not breaking anything. We are exercising our First Amendment right to freedom of assembly, freedom of speech, and trying to, we're trying to petition the government to address of grievances. And I'm sorry, those grievances just keep getting more and more. Thank you very much. Fight back. Thank you, sister. Fight back.